Guys, before you go on to this clip, please don't forget to press the subscribe button for more content like this. We post all our clips on this channel from the podcast. I know you're going to enjoy this quite a lot. Is it true that schooling today is an artifact of the industrial revolution? Are we producing not people but workers? Or is this too simplistic? It's it's it is simplistic. Yeah. Because you know the education system is very complex. When we came up with organized or you know uh, education system everywhere in the world, it was about how do you take care of all children mm. in large numbers mm. and take care of everything they would need. Mm. And you can't do that with one teacher and thirty to fifty students. So basically, then it became like, how do we make it worthwhile? for these kids and what must they learn so we kind of came up with this age based classes we came up with development you know there are some uh, developmental ish um, you know things that happen like motor movements right. Right? right 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 and and the ability to kind of put things together in your brain imagine i i always equate uh, learning as walking hmm. So when a child is born, they don't come out walking. Mm. I've had four kids; none of them came out walking, but they all learn to walk by seeing what we are doing mm -hmm. and the parents teaching them. So early learning that happens with the parents is key because that forms the backbone or pre-knowledge mm. of everything you learn. Mm. So what happens is think about us. Uh, walking, you have one foot f firmly placed on on the ground. You kind of pick up the next uh, foot and you kind of dangle it around to kind of decide where to put it down, which direction. If you know the direction, you know you have to go that way. But eventually, what happens is you kind of take a decision, put it down, uh, yours uh, the foot that's dangling, and you feel whether it's stable enough. Right. Because it's you know, you can't leave your foot at the back. Right. And and walking is so natural to all animals. Right. Right. So we tend to then put it down, feel it safe. If it's not safe, we'll retrieve it and then kind of go forward with the next mo motion. So eventually you kind of repeat this. Right. And that becomes uh, intuitive, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Intuition is based on facts that you have learned. Mm -hmm. The only thing that changed is it goes faster. Right. Right? Right. There isn't that, you know, you don't have to think about it anymore. Right. Right. So, I'm sorry, but are you saying that, that education has a natural pressure because of which it needs to be standardized? Because you yes. have to do it en masse. Yes. And just like walking is a combination of standardization and experimentation, learning should be like that? Is that the point? Well, what's happened because of the standardization, uh, we've forgotten that every kid cannot think fast enough to survive in standardization. Mm. Okay? Mm. The kids that tend to do, whether they have pre-knowledge, their parents train them very early on. Um, <laughs> it's amazing when you think about in India, in general, parents of doctors will produce a lot of children that are doctors, right? right? In yeah. general, yeah, 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 yeah. there are exceptions, right? right. right? Um, because they're exposed to that. Mm. They've learned those things. And so in this world where you can you know, do well in that kind of system, certain number of children do well. Mm. And that's what's happening in India. When you think about going to IIT or going to medicine, or it's the kids who can do well in that kind of, um, you know, forced world. Mm -hmm. You will do well. Right. Guys, if you listen to this, you will feel like, wow, I want to think like this. I want to learn like this. So, what do you want to do? Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.